Welcome to Slocum Center for Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. My name is Dr. Heather Campion, and I specialize in treating conditions and injuries associated with the hand and wrist. In this video, we will be discussing Dupuytren's disease. This is a painless thickening of fascia that can lead to formation of nodules, dimpling of skin, and contraction of the fingers. Fascia is normal tissue that lies under the skin in the palm of the hand. It helps to hold the palmar skin in place. In patients with Dupuytren's disease, the fascia becomes thick and contracts. This can lead to contraction of the fingers. Common symptoms in the hand include initially skin changes, thickening or dimpling. This is followed by nodules or lumps under the skin. And finally, cords of fascia in line with the fingers may form. These cords may contract over time. Some patients may also have nodules over their knuckles. The etiology of Dupuytren's disease is unknown. The strongest evidence is for genetic predisposition, meaning it's inherited or a biologic disease. This is more common in males, people of Northern European descent, and it's increased incidence with increasing age. There's no cure for Dupuytren's disease, just treatment of the symptoms. Once the Dupuytren's cords form and the fingers contract or people are unable to fully straighten the fingers, there are three different treatment options to consider. Two are office-based procedures. The first is needle fasciotomy, which is discussed in another video by Dr. Tavakolian. The second is xyloflex or collagenase injection, which I will go into more detail about. Finally, surgical partial fasciectomy, where the diseased tissue is surgically removed. Of the three treatment options, surgery has the lowest recurrence, but it also has the longest recovery. Xyloflex or collagenase is a FDA approved medication that is injected into palpable Dupuytren's cords. It works by dissolving or breaking up the diseased fascia. Patients that are candidates for Xyloflex injection have discreetly palpable Dupuytren's cords that cause a flexion contracture either across the MCP or PIP joint. Only one cord or one affected finger may be injected per month. For patients with multiple cords, this may not be a great option as multiple injections spread over multiple months may be required. This is an expensive medication. Thankfully, most insurance plans cover the treatment. Treatment with Xyloflex requires two consecutive office visits. On day one, the Xyloflex medication is injected into a discreetly palpable cord, never into a nodule. Local anesthetic cannot be used because of concerns that the local anesthesia will decrease the efficacy of the Xyloflex medication. The hand is wrapped in a bulky dressing after the injection. We ask the patient to keep the hand elevated and not to use the hand to prevent the medication from dispersing out of the cord. It is typical to have some pain the night of the injection. On day two, the bandage is removed and the palm of the hand will appear very swollen and bruised. Some patients will have blistering of the skin or even swollen lymph nodes at the elbow or armpit. The finger will be numbed with a local anesthetic. After the finger is numb, the contracted finger is manipulated or straightened. Often an audible pop is heard when the cord is broken and the finger position improves. Flexion contractures of the MCP joint are more easily improved than contractures of the PIP joint. We typically expect a PIP contracture to improve by about 50%. Patients with a large contracture oftentimes will experience a skin tear with the manipulation, and this is treated with local wound care. It is typical for the hand to be sore and swollen, especially the first week after the injection. A finger extension splint may be worn to encourage the extension of the untreated digit. Range of motion exercises are also encouraged. Most patients are back to normal use of the hand a few weeks after the injection and manipulation. Uncommon but more serious side effects of the injection include rupture of tendons or ligaments, injury to nerves, and allergic reactions. The office procedures have quicker recovery but also higher recurrence rate as the diseased tissue is not removed, it is just stretched. Xyloflex injections are a relatively newer treatment option for Dupuytren's disease. We don't know the exact recurrence rates of Dupuytren's disease after Xyloflex injection, but we think it is close to 50% recurrence at three years. I also want to share that the patients I've treated with Xyloflex injections have been very happy with their results. They appreciate the ease of an office procedure as well as their quick recovery.